Moin Moin and welcome to Ralph's photo booth and Ralph's photo flight. Yeah, after several videos about the DJI Inspire 1, today is the day for the first flight. The sun is shining, it's freezing cold, but still a good day to fly. First of all, I show you at the copter what you have to do with the propellers and um, the battery uh, and then we can start to our first flight. Now we start at the copter. First of all, please check your battery and press the button to check of, uh, whether every four lights are lightning so the battery is fully charged. Now we put the battery in the copter and take care that at the last step you push hard so that the battery snaps in and is plain is here with the cover of the uh, Fanta, um, of the, sorry, of the Inspire. Next point is we have to lock the propellers. The propeller locks from DJI are on the way, but also we can fly without the propeller locks if we take care that the propellers are tightened enough. So, when you put on the propellers, please take care that you, when you put them on the motors, when they are at the end, don't leave them like this either, either when you used it from the uh, Phantom because at the Phantom this is usually enough but here at the Inspire please take care that you give them a little push at the end hold the motors and give them a little push so they are tightened fast and um, so they can't move dur uh, off during the flight. Next point, take care that the gimbal is free, so when we start the copter, the gimbal is not in the grass or uh, in the surface um, and the gimbal has to be free. And the next and last point is check that the micro SD card is in the gimbal or in the camera so you can take pictures of your first flight. It would be a shame when there is no uh, micro SD card in and you uh, won't get pictures of your first flight. So that's it, now we can start to our first flight. The copter is ready and we can start our start procedure. Remember that the both antennas are parallel and show in direction of the copters. Start your iPad or, the, or whether um, device you use to flying the copter. First of all, we start the remote control, tapping two time at the start button. Here we are, and the next point is to start the copter. It takes some seconds uh, for the gimbal to check the direction he start, make a little bit of copter dance and so this is the point when we are just ready to start and um, yes we take some seconds and then we can go. Before we make our first flight we have to calibrate the compass. When you start the Inspire the first time, the app will show you that you have to make a compass calibration. If you fly in your area, you have to make the compass calibration only once. But when you start the next time far away, maybe on holiday or something else, you have to make a new compass calibration. How this will work, I show you, it's very easy. You just go into the app, press the button here on top, and then you will see compass calibrate. Here it says normal, so I don't have to make a compass calibration, but I will show you how this will work. You just press the button, then says compass calibrate, you says OK, and then we can make the compass calibration. You see the light here, this says I'm ready for the compass calibration. Take the copter and make a 360 degree turn, a little bit more. When the light is green you're ready, turn the copter this direction and then again 
360 degrees, a little bit more, and if everything is fine, you see the green flashing, put the motor down, and you're done, you can make a first flight. Everything is ready, the copter is started, compass calibration, the remote control is on. The next point you have to check, you have to see on the top of the screen, safe to fly, GPS, then you have enough satellites to start. If you're not in the right mode, you have to take the small switch to the right side and then you're in the PGPS mode for your first flight. Copters in the right direction, camera is pointing away from you and now we start the propellers. Move both sticks to the middle down position and the propellers will start. Have a view to the propellers, they should start uh, simultaneously. Like this, you will see the green light, that's the back side of the copter, and in the middle the green light flashing. So that's the sign that everything is fine, safe to fly GPS. And now we can take off and move the left stick forward so the copter will go up. When you fly at a point like here and we are on a small wall or something like this, you will see that the copter uses the sonar to check the distance to the floor or to the grass. When I fly forward, the copter will go a little bit downwards because the, it's a little bit sloped downward. So take care that you're high enough. and then fly forward. Now you're in the right position. You can make your first maneuvers. Move the stick to the left. Move the stick to the right, the right stick, and you can make the flight to left and right. Now you go with the landing gear, move the landing gear up, therefore you move the lever here on the remote control, the right lever up, and you will see that the landing gear is going up. And so the camera has a full 360 degree view under the copter. Now you can make your first flight maneuvers, fly forward, moving the right stick forward, Move to the left, move to the right. If you move the left stick to the left or to the right, the copter will make a turn. Now the camera is pointing towards us and now you have to recognize that you, when you move the right stick to the right, the copter will fly to the left from your position. And in the opposite direction, when you move the stick to the left, the copter will fly to the right. So that's very important in this position to know that when the nose points towards you, the stick is vice versa. When I turn the copter so that the nose points to the right side, now when I move the right stick backward, the copter will fly backward and from our position the copter flies to the left. I move the stick forward, the copter will fly forward. From our position the copter will fly to the right side. So that's very important. So. Take your time, make the first maneuvers, go a little bit higher with the left stick, go a little bit lower with the left stick. Take your time and make your first maneuvers with the copter. Learn how the Inspire 1 react to the sticks, how fast he reacts to the sticks. Check the battery all the time that you have enough battery. 
Now we come to the landing procedure, very easy. First of all, we move the copter back to the point where we want to land. So we move the stick backwards. One important point, it's easier to land the copter if the nose again shows away from you. So the stick maneuvers are identical to the movement of the copter. So it's a little bit easier to land and I would suggest that you point the copter nose away from you. Now we move the copter over our landing point and then the landing gear down with the lever on the right side of the remote control the landing gear goes down and now we move the copter to our landing point slowly down take your time to land the copter take the right place for the landing slowly down hold the specs hold the left stick downwards and when the copter is landed the propellers will automatically turn off when the copter is on the floor so that was your first flight with the Inspire 1. Take your time with the first flight. Go slowly, don't make it too fast. Take your time to check how the Inspire re reacts to the um, sticks and learn how the copter will fly in the direction, in a different direction when you turn the copter. Okay, so there are coming more videos over the, uh, about the Inspire 1 to the different flight modes and the different options you have with the Inspire 1 in the flight. But this was the first video, first flight of the Inspire 1. Thanks for watching, hope it helped you a little bit. Give me a like here uh, on my uh, YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel and as always I say bye and moin moin.